Hello, and thank you for visiting worksheets and walkthroughs.com. In this video walkthrough lesson, we're going to take a look at multiplication represented on a place value chart. We'll be using these worksheets. You can go to worksheets and walkthroughs.com to print out a copy for yourself. You'll find them under our multiplication videos, and it's entitled Multiplication on a Place Value Chart. We've got word problems, four digit by one digit factors. Well, let's get started. Garrett's favorite video game has a maximum of 2,435 points per level. If he gets the maximum score for the first three levels, how many points did he get altogether? Let's take a look through this a second time, trying to tease out our math clues sentence by sentence as we take a closer read of the problem. First sentence. Garrett's favorite video game has a maximum of 2,435 points per level. If you were thinking 2,435 was an important math clue, excellent, good for you. Second sentence. If he gets the maximum score for the first three levels, how many points did he get altogether? So now we have some more math clues here. So now he's getting the maximum score first three levels. On the first three levels, he gets the maximum score. And here comes our math job. So we'll take a look at this. How many points did he get all together? So we've got some, some clues here. We've got a couple of knowns. We've got 2,435 points per level. And he achieved that maximum score on the first three levels. So if you were thinking this sounds like a multiplication problem, you'd be absolutely correct. 2,435 times 3. Now, How could we show this on a place value chart? So let's investigate what happens when we multiply these two factors on a place value chart. Well, if you look at this factor 3, you can think to yourselves, well, we've got three groups of 2,435. So you can partition your place value chart into thirds. And at the top, we'll have our original number. So we've got the 2,435. Let's represent that on the place value chart. We've got five ones. So we'll go ahead and put five ones on there. If you're drawing circles to represent your place value disks, that's fantastic. Go ahead and do that now. If I'm moving too quickly for you, feel free to pause the video. All right, let's continue. Now we have three tens. So let's represent our three tens here. One, two, three, or 10, 20, 30. And then we'll move on to the hundreds. We have four in the hundreds place, so we'll represent that with four hundreds. 100, 200, 300, 400. On to the thousands. We have two in the thousands place, so we will represent that with two place value disks. And we have 1,000, 2,000. Now, we want to go ahead and make this again and the, the other partition, so go ahead and do that. Now that we have our 2,000 435 represented three times on the place value chart. We can go through and bundle up, starting with the ones. We can regroup. Let's go ahead and do that now. So we've got in the ones place, uh, we've got them organized neatly into five. So we have five plus five equals 10. And we can bundle those up and make another 10. So go ahead and do that. So we've circled those, and now we have an extra 10 down there in the tens place. And let's see if we can make another group of 10. We have one, two, three, four, five. No, we cannot. We'll have five in the ones place in our product. So now we'll move on to the tens and we'll start to bundle those up or regroup them. So now we can see we have up here, we have three, six, nine. Oh, look at that. And that extra one we just added there makes a nice even 10. So now we can bundle those up and now create a, we can create another 100. So let's do that now. So we've got an extra 100 you can see there. All right. And now let's go ahead and bundle up our hundreds. We've got four here, four, eight, 
and then two more would make a nice group of ten. So then we can bundle those up, regroup, and form a thousand. So we have another thousand here, and you are done. Now we'll go up and see what we have in each place. So now we can see, okay, if we have 2,435 times 3 represented on a place value chart. We've regrouped or bundled up our 10s, groups of 10, I, sh I should say. Now we can go ahead and total up what we have left in our 1s place, first of all. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we have 5. 5 1s. And we'll move on to the tens place. We've bundled them up, and you can see that we have bundled up all of these tens, and they made a perfect group. So we think of that again. We have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. So the 10 tens becomes 100. We moved it over there. Now we have zero left in the tens place. So let's let's show that. We've got zero tens now. We've got zero tens. And we'll move on to the hundreds place. See how many we have left. If you can look in there, we have one, two, three, or three hundreds. And we'll represent that with a digit, a digit three. Moving on to the thousands place. So now we have 1,000. 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, 6,000, 7,000. So we'll represent that with the digit 7. And we can see that now. We have an answer of 7,305. Let's go back to our math job and make sure we've actually solved this problem. How many points did he get altogether? Garrett uh, used we used our factors of 2,435 and 3. Came up with a product of 7,305. Absolutely. So we've, we've shown our work with numbers, pictures, and now we need to show our answer with words. We'll go ahead and do that now. And if you had something like this, Garrett scored 7,305 points altogether. You'd be absolutely correct. Let's move on to the next problem. Question number two. Tino uses 1,233 blocks to make a castle in his block crafting app. If he builds four castles, how many blocks did Tino use in all? Again, let's go through this sentence by sentence a little quicker this time. We have Tino uses 1,233 blocks to make a castle, and he builds four castles. Math job, how many blocks did Tino use in all? So now we have a couple of factors here. We have 1,233 blocks times 4. So if you were thinking that our math sentence would look a bit like this, 1,233 times 4, you'd be absolutely correct. Good job. So now we'll represent this on the place value chart. So you're probably thinking, hmm, I see this factor of four. So we could show four groups of 1,233 and you'd be absolutely correct. So let's go ahead and partition our place value chart into four equal partitions. All right, and now we can represent 1,233 on our place value chart. I see three ones. Three tens, 10, 20, 30. And I look to the hundreds, I see two, so there would be two hundreds, 100, 200, and we have one in the thousands place or 1,000. So now we're going to show, the, repeat this process four times. And there we have it. Again, if I'm going too fast for you, feel free to pause the video. Make your own partitions and place value disks on a place value chart. So here we go. Now we're going to bundle starting with the ones place. And we can see we have three up top here. Three, six, nine. And we'd add one more. Nine plus one equals ten. We'll bundle those up and move them, move them next door. Trade them in or regroup for another ten. 
So now we can regroup and we'll start to bundle them up once again. And this time we'll start at the bottom. We have four on the bottom here. Plus three would be seven. Seven plus three would be 10. Look at that, that works nicely. So now we've bundled that group up and we'll move it here. We'll move that right there. We'll regroup or trade our 10 tens in for 100 because they'd have the same value. So now we'll bundle up our hundreds. So we can go ahead and do that now. We can see two, four, six, eight, nine. Hmm, can we bundle them? Absolutely not. No, because we only have nine. We, can't, we don't have a group of ten. And if you take a quick, quick glance over here at the thousands, you can see one, two, three, four thousand. So now we can go ahead and get our product. So we've, we've shown four groups of 1,233, and now we can get our product. We'll represent that. If you look up there, you can see two ones left over, three tens or 30, and you can count up those hundreds, 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900. So now we have a nine in the hundreds place. And we can move on to the thousands place. You can see there quickly, you can probably eye it and see that we have four. We have four thousands. So our product is 4,932. And we'll look up at our math job next. Go up and see if we've solved the problem. How many blocks did Tino use in total to make his castles or his four castles in his block crafting app? So we can see that Tino used a total of 4,932 blocks to make four castles. Well, that was a quick look at multiplying a four-digit number by a one-digit number, a single-digit number, on a place value chart. Thanks for checking out worksheets on walkthroughs.com, and we'll see you again next time.